Well, do you have gas? Because I do. And you can see it all over the table. If I'm going on an out west trip, making sure that I can get gas in a canister. Now, most places you can get it, but I mean, you take a look around and you see the different types and sizes. Uh, this is the what is this, the 110 gram size. Now, you go to Walmart and you've got these other sizes. These bigger ones, uh, Coleman, Ollie Camp. The larger ones are 230. You can get these larger ones which are uh, 500, so this is pretty huge. But when you're going backpacking, you don't want to carry a giant canister like this. I know I don't. Uh, I definitely want to carry one of these smaller ones. It would be kind of nice that once when the can was coming close to being empty, that I can refill it. So, can you refill one of these smaller canisters? Well, the answer is yes. Just like any container, you can refill it. The only problem is, do you have a way to do it? I mean, obviously, you can't go to a sporting goods store and they'll fill it full of uh, full fuel. The issue is, how can I refill them? What, what's, how is it possible? Because just pitching these things or just leaving them in the trash or giving them to somebody to try to, you know, burn off, uh, you know, it seems kind of wasteful, especially when you have these larger canisters. So I went looking around on the internet and I found this. Uh, this is the Camp Moon. And what this is is a, an adapter that you can use to attach a larger canister to, like this big one, this big 500. I think this is, yeah, this is Coleman. Now, remember, this is, uh, these camping fuels, these compressed cylinders, these canisters, are a mix of fuels. Uh, this is butane and a propane mix. So, I mean, it's the same thing that are in these small cans. So, what I'm going to do, or what I look for is to see if I can refill the smaller ones. You don't want to carry this thing. This thing weighs a little over a pound and one of these are about a third of that when topped off. But with this Camp Moon uh, adapter, what you can do uh, following the instructions on it, and to be honest, it's kind of similar to a, uh, almost to a stove itself or to a part of a stove. It's just a regulator, and this regulator adapter allows you to, and it has, if you see, it has out and in. So you know which way that you need to put the, uh, uh, put the different canisters to fill them in. So one, it's uh, sending the gas out, and one, it's bringing it in. So let's making sure that I've got it on the right side. This is in the out position. Make it snug. So this is going to be on top. This is coming out. And making it on top makes it a little bit easier. Now, I've got a bunch of different canisters. This is, well, this is marked empty on it. So we'll use this. and they're counter threaded so you can get them nice and tight and just like with any stove you would open it up I don't know if you can hear that but it is making noise and it's got a blowout valve in back and a vent so just to make sure that way there's no overfilling so we're filling it up, we'll give it, I don't know, a minute maybe, and in that time we'll probably have it completely full. It's been going for a while. Let's tighten it up. And I flip them upside down just because it's, it's, a, more, it's a better flow. Yeah, you can hear it. And I could smell it too. So there was this went from being completely empty to I would say 
maybe a third full. So, yeah, this one's almost empty. Now, the reason why I have these two things over here on the sides, this is propane and this is butane. Well, that's what we're using here. This is a mixture. So, bring that up there. You can buy this adapter on Amazon, but it's really expensive. I think it's like 40 bucks. I did not get it on Amazon. It was too much. I actually looked around, and I found it on Walmart. So I looked at Walmart.com. The adapter wasn't that much. It was only like maybe 15 something, relatively cheap. But uh, you can get extra adapters. You can get a butane fuel adapter and this is the kind of uh, fuel that goes in the small one burner canisters, the cartridges and if you've got the regular Coleman size this fits this so yeah this is gonna fill it up in a matter of seconds I got a feeling but uh, let's go with this one much better let's see if we can figure it out okay this adapter uh, for the butane really not that hard it catches in between these two uh, not well it goes this goes inside this notch and you screw it down so this is a uh, fairly empty okay yeah I don't know if you can hear it but I can Yeah, I think it would, that's why I've got it upside down, because I think that makes it filter a little bit better. I mean, it's compressed gas, but you're taking it from one gas chamber into another one through the adapter. This we're going to have to be careful with because this is under a lot more pressure. Now, I popped this cylinder, so I think what I'm going to have to do is leave this on here, otherwise it's going to permanently leak. Now, it's got a little bit of a little bit of butane in it. This propane's under higher pressure. Oh yeah, I can hear it. Yeah, can you hear that? probably go a little bit more between this I think this fuel fill it up I didn't have it on for very long fueled it up a little bit but this I would say this thing is half full now let's go a little bit longer I'd have to weigh these actually that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna go get my scale and we're gonna weigh these out Okay. All right. Well, this GSI canister, which is brand new and I've never used it, 110 gram size, weighs 7.5 ounces. Now, this is completely full, never used. So, we were putting uh, fuel into this old uh, MSR canister. Same thing, 110 gram size. Uh, you can see it right there which would be, oh, okay, net weight, 3.9 ounces of fuel, 
Um, okay, gross weight, 211 grams, 7.4. Okay, that's interesting because this, yeah, this doesn't say, but it's the same thing. So it would probably be, it should be the same thing. So, yeah, gross weight 7.4 ounces. Well, that's a good uh, good benchmark for us. And it is 6.5 ounces. So we know that we can put an additional 0.9 uh, ounces of fuel, whether propane or the butane. So I know where I'm at on that, how much more I can add. Let's see. That's 6.9, so I think I've used this at least once. This one that was, uh, that's marked empty, okay? I filled this up, so we know based on the other one, based on the uh, MSR, that it should be 7.4. Okay, that's 5.5. So I can pump that up almost two two more ounces full of fuel so i can actually put a lot more fuel in these and i think this is a good way to do it if you know what the maximum is which we do you know based on uh, what's on these the gross weight if we know what the gross weight is then we know how much playroom wiggle room we have to fill this up so that'll be a good way to do it and to be honest i hadn't filled it up very much with uh, this propane, I'm willing to bet that maybe less than a minute, if I went a whole minute because I wasn't sure, that I could probably get that completely full.